it's actually the soil that's the most important thing, it's what I've got out of the conference. It's, uh, it's just nice to see farmers that are really thinking about the long term, I guess, viability of their, of their system. I think that a lot of people, just with the presentations, together with the uh, verbal presentation, yeah, I think farmers will definitely walk away with new information. Yeah, it provoked a lot of thought last year, which we're, we're back to follow up on, yeah. And what are you hoping to come away with at the end of the day today? Uh, more, more, uh, more thoughts. Mainly um, closing a lot of loops with thoughts, thoughts we got about soil biology and cover cropping, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's a good chance to meet other people. And yeah, very much so. Yeah, you put a lot of faces to a lot of names that you you hear of in the industry. Yeah. I'm reasonably new to farming. I feel like I've only got one shot at it, and you can pick up from the elite farmers, some of their practices. Um, I think that's gonna, gonna help me um, advance, you know, quicker. Not only did it not add any carbon, it actually lost carbon. Now how the hell does it lose carbon if you're burying it? Well, how it loses it, you oxidize the soil in the process of burying it, and you actually oxidise more carbon dioxide out than is going in, the end result is you're going backwards. And with the release of long-range fixed-wing UAVs, the technology is fast becoming a more realistic economical option. You always get to come and talk to people face to face as well and talk about their experiences and it's another, another huge positive. We're a lot smaller than a lot of these guys here. We've got a smaller farm. We are, but we still try to try to do the things that they do because they're the best in the game. Except at harvest time. And that's probably because those pea roots are really enrich. And so they're probably leaking and we have more of it in the tilled system. We see we have a big depth difference here. And then when we look at what it's doing to the microbiology, cutting edge things uh, appear at some of these venues and uh, I think it's important that you keep yourself informed. Being immobilised when soil microbes take it up and into the organic matter. They always make an effort to get innovative people and, and good speakers so I'm always pretty keen to keep an eye on what they're doing. What about the people who have actually have started to get softer soils and want to have more cover in particular when they get wet and ropey, when I put up some matrix later about power requirements and cost benefit. Anyone can grow a crop on a good year, but he said it's the tough years that, uh, that I get ahead with my system. I think some of the best presentations I've ever heard on, on soil microbiology has been at, at these very events. I think ground speed makes a big difference. We spray no faster than 18 k's. If we can get some down pressure on it. Between ferrosols, dermosols and chromosols. By that I mean sustainable farming and progressive farming. Congratulations, Chris. We just got out a display to represent some of the diversity of seed that's contained within the seed bank. Farmers are funny people. We like sharing information, unlike corporate business. We like actually sharing our success and helping other people. So the, the farmer helping a farmer uh, principle's been one of the best things uh, for this organisation to grow it grow its size and its strength and its popularity amongst the ag community.